Alright, so here is my uh, first sequential multiplier. Um, it has a lot of stuff going on, but it could be a lot bigger. Um, so, first of all, you can type in a number here, and it'll start shifting it over like that. Um, that number saved here, and put into a binary coded decimal to binary, and then that I only allow eight bits through, and if there's more than eight bits, then you get a error late. Um, so you can multiply two 8-bit numbers and it just feeds the, uh, the top number into a big shift register and the bottom number just gets saved right here. So um, it, it like adds and saves into a third register to uh, multiply up and it just does that eight times as, it's, as the top one's shifting across to get the, the value. So I can type something in like 50. Oh, let me figure that out. Let me do 50. Wait a second. Times. Let's do 50 times. Well, let's do 50 times 50. Should be 2,500. All right. What's uh? What's? Whoops, that's too much. So, uh, the uh, the maximum value I can put in is 255. And as soon as I go to like 256, it's uh, it's too much. So I can do 255 times. I can. Well, the I guess the largest number I can do is that squared. And it should be 65,025. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, just type in a number, wait a second, multiply, then times, let's do 100 times 200. That's right to me. So yeah, it goes from the uh, input through the BCD, then does a couple of loops through the adder, and then back through another reverse BCD into the output. Thanks for watching.